What's up team? We have another awesome week of fitness coming at you. So a few things. You will see that again, as we mentioned, we're going to be doing progressive overload with that handstand push up and rope climb workout. So the rounds have gone down, but the reps have gone, gone up. There are scales for each of you. So we still want you doing this figure out how you need to scale each of the movements and if you need to piece something together that complements where you're at, that's okay as well. But don't skip this. This is super, super important. Rope climbs are a great way to work on grip strength, core, and pulling all in once, not to mention confidence, right? Because it can be scary. Don't skip it. If you need help with it, reach out to us. For uh, the back squats, the sequence of events is not a mistake. That is intentional. You are back squatting after you guys do that Metcon. We want to be training, being able to lift he heavy under fatigue because we are going into the open, okay? So do it in that order. For that workout, you will see that there are scales for you guys. And again, if that scaling doesn't work for you, figure out what is a uh, scaling system that you need to work. Maybe your deadlift is not super strong, but you can snatch easily with the a 35 pound dumbbell, right? So uh, it's okay to play around with that and find a system that works for you. The complex that you guys see on Saturday for the deadlift clean, hang clean, and jerk, that is all one movement. So you're going to initiate that sequence by deadlifting, and then from there, you will go down to the ground, hold on to the barbell, perform a clean, however you want to do that clean. It can be a squat clean or it can be a power clean. And then you're gonna do a hang clean, and then you're gonna go into a jerk, okay? So you, once you begin the movement, you never let go of the barbell. Other than that, it's pretty much what we've been working on. We're building up the ring muscle ups under fatigue. If you guys have been working on that, we're building up bar muscle ups and chest to bars under fatigue. Don't skip out on that, especially if you plan on performing in the open this year. For the workout on Friday with the chest to bar and the handstand push ups, if you are not doing handstand push up yet, and we do not want you trying to do 55 struggle blast handstand push ups with four mats. We want you taking those dumbbells and performing heavy ass dumbbell push press. So we have 35 pounds on there as you're scaled down. But if you can handle 45s and do 55 reps at that, go for it, okay? But again, no m multiple mats. You guys should be not uh, doing handstand push ups you, with any mats at all. It, um, unless it's completely level. It should be a mat and then two plates. You should have no elevation whatsoever because that bottom part is the hardest part, right? So it's a part that we need to build out and you can always message us if you have questions about it. Otherwise, team, that's it. We got lots more pulling and pressing, gymnastics, conditioning, lifting, all kinds of fun stuff this week. Uh, hopefully everybody's bodies are feeling good. You're taking care of them. Uh, we have another week like this and then we're going to have a kind of little deload week or reload week and then we'll go back at it. Hit us up if you guys need anything and post on the Circle community how everything is going. Uh, so if you guys need feedback, right? And we will see you on all the social media.